this is a typical, more typical of what I see today. Uh, this particular horse has a body score of five, so he's ideal body weight. But look at his top line, how, how concave the back and the loin are. Okay. Now his croup is round, and so we give this horse a C top line score and a five body condition score. Here's another horse that when you first look at him, you think he is thinner than the first horse. Actually, if you, if you look right behind the shoulder, he's fatter than the first horse. He actually has a fat deposit there. But his muscles are so atrophied that that vertebrae is sticking up two to three inches. And this particular horse couldn't be ridden, ridden because he was so back sore. So, so that's why we want to be evaluating these top lines. Here's an example of a, of a jumper. Uh, we were called out, and you can see his ribs, so you know he's below a body condition score of five. <clears throat> and his top line was very sharp all the way back to the loin, the group, and so he, we gave him a C minus top line score. And this was in January the 20th. So we reevaluated his diet, balanced the, balanced the diet out, and this is what he looked like one month later. And he had gained some weight, it was a five body score, uh, and you could see his, his group was nice and round, his, his uh, loin is flat, and so he had a, a B top line score. And this was in 30 days. So the exciting thing about amino acids is they respond quickly to that, much quicker than trying to put weight on or taking weight off to, to that. Here's a, an example of a thoroughbred mare uh, on the left-hand side, that was in, in March 17th, and uh, it's hard to see, but she just wasn't finishing out her top line. Uh, she had, was pl carrying plenty of calories, but the picture on the right is the same horse uh, on April 21st, where you could see how much greater the top line filled in, and she was able to maintain the same body condition score. <clears throat> but to make it easier to see, we did an overlay. <coughs> this is the same horse. Her vertebrae didn't change. You know, her, her wither height and her coop height didn't change. Everything you see there is muscle. And we did that in 30 days. So if the horse is healthy and we're balancing the diet, they will have a normal back. Too. Okay. And this is what we want everyone to be able to see, what is normal and what is abnormal. Because too many times when I'm called out on problem cases, they think a concave back is normal. And it is, it's showing a weakness and it's limiting what you can do with your horse as far as training and performance goes. <clears throat> but just to go along with that comment, uh, I pulled this, this is an actual advertisement out of a magazine. And, and they're, they're saying that um, they have corrective saddle pads for horses to, with muscle atrophy of the back and loin. Uh, older horses with a higher withers and a diminishing top line. 